that calls the proper presentation of Islam. It's a great choice to invest in it and a golden opportunity to purify your wealth in a way that pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Support Peace TV. Send your zakat and donations to IRFI Al Ryan Bank, 47 Calthorpe Road, Birmingham, UK, B151TH. Pound account number 011 IBAN GB49ARAY 3000830113230. Sort code 300083. Swift BIC code ARAY GB. B22. Please confirm your contribution at support at peacetv.tv. Support Peace TV, the solution for humanity. Solution for humanity. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله Dear brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته In the last session I talked about Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم and I discussed some of the prophecies concerning the prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم in the Bible in the book of the Jews and Christians Now let's go to another aspect in the name of God, Bismillah. This is a prophecy by itself. In the name of Allah, Bismillah. It is a prophecy. It says, and it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hear unto my words, which he shall speak in my name. You see that? Underlined words, speak in my name. In the name of what? In the name of God. So this is a prophecy belonging to who? To Jesus? No. Or to Muhammad? To Muhammad. So Muhammad. This is another prophecy belonging to our dear Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. As you see there, in the name of God, we use it, Bismillah, and then the prophet says, he shall speak in the name of. God in my name, meaning the name of Allah, the true God. Let's go to another part. Those who follow the messenger, the prophet, who's Ummi, you know Ummi? A letter. A letter. Whom they find written. Yajidunahu maktuban. You see, the ayah tells us, Aladina. يتبعون الرسول النبي الأمي الذي يجدونه مكتوبا عندهم في التوراة والإنجيل نبوءات prophecies now we come to know more about these prophecies concerning our dear prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم those who follow the messenger the prophet who is أمي unlettered whom they find written with them in the Torah and in the Injil, i.e., 
the Old Testament and the New Testament. Now let's go to the Bible. Can we find it there? Can we find this letter there? Let's see. Brother Ahmed, can you help me please okay. reading that part? Okay. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, read this, I pray thee, and he says, I'm not learned. King James Version. King James this Version. is the Bible, the version, King James Version. So you can refer to that. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, read this. اقرأ رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال ما أنا بقارئ ما أنا بقارئ This is what the Bible says Read saying read this I pray thee and he says I am not learned I can't read you See this is from the Bible and now let's go to another verse or another variation or another version says and it is handed to one who cannot read. With the request, read this, he replies, I cannot read. Iqra. He says, I can't read. This is in the Bible, referring to who? To the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Let's go to another prophecy, another nubu'ah about Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is again in the Bible, in Isaiah or Isaiah 21, 13-15. I would like one of you to help me and read it, please. Yes, brother. The burden of Arabia in the forest in Arabia shall ye lodge. The inhabitants? The inhabitants of, of the land of Tema Tama. Of Tama. Please, just let's stop here. Tama, you know, the small town near Medina, Tima. We know it. Tima, near Medina, Tama. Now it's called Tama. So it's referring to the small town there, Tima or Tima. The inhabitants of the land of Tima brought water to him that was thirsty. They prevented with their bread him that fled. For they fled from the swords from the drawn sword. It, this prophecy speaks about the migration of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu from Mecca to Medina, how they gave him, you know, water. And you see there, Tema, this is a town near Medina. It's known till now. So this is another prophecy we can refer to. Let's go to another part. John 16, 13. What does it say? Could you please read it, Brother Ahmed? John 16 to 13. عندما يأتي هو روح الحق فهو يرشدكم إلى جميع الحق لأنه لا يتكلم من نفسه بل كل ما يسمع يتكلم به. Good. Now let's go to the English translation. When he, when he, the Spirit of Truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth. For he will not speak on his own initiative, but whatever he hears, he will speak. John 16, 13. Wait. Now let's ponder. Let's analyze this text. Yeah, there is a... It says, when he, the spirit of truth, comes, who is this he? Hua. Andama yati hua. When he comes, the spirit of truth. He will guide you into all the truth. All truth. For he, again, he and he and he, for he will not speak on his own initiative, not from his own. But whatever he, he hears, he will speak. He will speak the truth he heard from from God subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right. Yes, Brother yeah. Muhammad. There is, in fact, a, a Quranic verse that goes in harmony with this uh, Bible text. Wonderful. Which Please, we, uh, let's, let's uh, listen. Uh, 
that is he means Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he does not speak out of his own initiative it is only an inspiration revealed to him so uh, i think that the the verse goes in harmony with this with this text beautiful yeah. beautiful jazakallah khair brother yeah. muhammad for this great participation so he again in the quran and in the bible referring to he who is he the bible refers to a person who will come in the future he will come when he comes when the spirit comes he speaks about what now or the past the bible speaks what about what for the future no. for the future. future about the future says when he comes meaning what someone will come we will discuss inshallah after the break thanks for your participation may allah reward you assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh <laughs> Confused, confused, worried, worried, losing control, losing control. If you are a parent, these feelings may well be all too familiar. In a society in which we increasingly feel that we are losing our children. It's still possible to get it right. and Islam will show you how. Want to know more? Join me, Muhammad Tim Humble, as we explore the ways to be. A good Muslim parent. Learn a series of beautiful Islamic techniques to help our children get the best in this world and the best in the hereafter in 26 ways to be a good Muslim parent every Friday at 6 p.m. and repeat telecast at 5.30 a.m. UK on Peace TV. Marriage or divorce? What's Islamic ruling? Nikah. Solution or problem? Heaven or hell? Uh, that is a misconception. You choose. Beauty, wealth, family status, virtue. Decide what you want. Decide your choice. Be sad or be happy. It's your choice. Join Dr. Zakir Naik in Better Half or Bitter Half every Friday at 6.30 p.m. and repeat telecast at 9.30 a.m. UK on Peace TV. <laughs> The Book of Allah is the foundation of Islamic civilization and the way out of every trial. Every generation of Muslims needs to develop a relationship with the Qur'an. So join me, Riyaz Ansari, for reflections on the Qur'an. Explore how the Quran has a wondrous impact on those who receive it as a book of guidance in Reflections on the Quran with Riyaz Ansari, next on Peace TV. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam wa rasulillah. Sayyidina wa Habibina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Before the break, we were referring to John 16, 13, where he says, When he, the spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all the truth, for he will not speak on his own initiative, but whatever he hears, he will speak.
John 16, 13. The question was, who was he? Or who is he? The Bible refers to a person who will come in the future. He will come. When he comes, when the Spirit comes, he speaks about what? Now or the past? The Bible speaks what? About what? About the future. Oh, about, about, the future. The future. about the future. It says when he comes. Meaning what? Someone will come. Brother Muhammad, would you like yes, to say something? Uh, also, I just wanted to quote another verse from the, the glorious Quran. Mm -hmm. uh, the verse reads, وَمُبَشِّرًا بِرَسُولٍ يَأْتِي مِنْ بَعْدِ إِسْمُهُ أَحْمَدِ This is uh, Prophet Jesus speaking here. There is the verse is speaking about Jesus. Yeah, yeah, Prophet, yeah, speaking about Prophet Jesus. He right. says, and I give the glad tidings of a messenger who shall come after me, whose name shall be Ahmed. This Wait. is uh, this is just another name of Prophet Muhammad. Wonderful, Jazakallah yeah, Khair, for referring to this yeah. great verse. So he, wa ma yantaqu an hawa in huwa illa wahyu yuha. Muhammad Sallam did not speak just from you know vain from or baseless, or from his own mind, from his uh, own initiative, as the Bible says. He's not speaking from his own initiative. But as he hears, he speaks. Some learned Christians might say, but he refers to Jesus, not Muhammad. How can we respond to those who say so? They say, he... In this text, when he, the spirit of truth, comes, some learned scholars or some, you know, Christians would say what? He refers to Jesus, not Muhammad. How can we respond to them? Brother Amr? This uh, quotation is from the New Testament. Mm -hmm. And um, it refers to a future uh, event. Good. So it refers to Muhammad. This, this prophecy is in the New Testament and talks about something to happen in the future. Yes. In addition to that, the Prophet Jesus السلام, says, when he comes, but Jesus was there, yes. right? Yes. Jesus was there. And if they speak about the Holy Spirit, they say, oh, this is the Holy Spirit. Who is the Holy Spirit? Ruh al-Qudus, according to Muslims. But the Spirit was there from the beginning. According to them, He was there. The Holy Spirit was there. You know, in, in some biblical references, they say, you know, the mother of Mary was filled with the Holy Spirit. Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit guided those prophets and messengers and guided the disciples. Who was guiding them? So they are talking about who? This prophecy talks about someone in the past no. or someone, someone in the future. coming in the future. Coming in the future. Yes. This is one thing. The other thing is, who will guide you to all truth? Who? Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was given the glorious Qur'an which includes everything about this life and the hereafter. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us about Jannah, about paradise, about the hellfire. He told us about many, many, many things. Law, the law of inheritance. Laws, different laws are told by who? By Muhammad وسلم, who was given this message from from who? From Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he, he will present, he will talk about, about what? From what he hears. Listen to that. But whatever he hears, he will speak about. This is in John chapter what? Brother Ahmed, help yes. me please. I read. The name or the number? of that text, John? John 16, 13. 16, 13. Good. So now we conclude that these prophecies 
fit none but one. Who is he? Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He is the last prophet from the Quran and from the Bible. We came to know that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, a Nabi al-Ummi, this is what the Bible speaks about, unlettered, cannot, who cannot read, and this is the case or this is the situation of our dear Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He is the last messenger. We have to believe in him as a prophet and as the last messenger. Now let's go to some of his sayings. Some of the sayings of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to know more about his teachings, to know more about his guidance. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the reward of deeds depends upon the intentions. And every person will get the reward according to what he has intended. This is in Al-Bukhari 1.1. So this is one of the beautiful sayings of the Prophet Muhammad Another beautiful saying, I would like to ask Brother Mahmoud, please. A man said to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, advise me. The Prophet replied, do not become angry. The man repeated his request. So the man repeated his request several times. And the Prophet said, in each case, do not become angry. Sahih al-Bukhari, volume 8, number uh, 137. So we see now another beautiful teaching from the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Don't get angry. لا تغضب. لا تغضب. لا تغضب. This is the teaching. This is the guidance of our dear Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Another beautiful tradition. Here we go there. Can you see it, Brother uh, Sami? Yes, please. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, A person who goes out of his house in search of knowledge, he is on God's way and remains so until he returns. Great. You see how the Prophet of Islam, Muhammad Sallallahu value knowledge? Islam is the religion of knowledge and seeking Ilm or knowledge, as you see here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take care of him. So let's try our best to increase our knowledge. And even, you know, those who know nothing about Allah or the religion of Islam, I would like to advise them to seek more of knowledge concerning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, concerning their own creator, Let's know more and more about him. Again, let me repeat this beautiful hadith. It says, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace be upon him, said, a person who goes out of his house in search of knowledge, he is on God's way and remains so until he returns. MashaAllah, this is great. Allah will give him reward. Allah will take care of him, Allah will guard him. Alhamdulillah. Another golden hadith. Let's go to this hadith. Who would like to read it? Brother Muhammad, can you read it, please? Can you see it? I just can see it right from here. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, whoever has three daughters, this is a good news. For those who have three daughters or more, thalath banat, huh? or more, inshallah, if he cares and provides for them and shows them mercy, he will enter paradise. What a beautiful thing. You see how Islam values women, female in general? So those who attack Islam, saying Islam degrades women, Islam is against women. Is this true? Yeah. No, Look not. at it. Look at this hadith, beautiful hadith, where it says that if you have three daughters and you take care of them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will admit you to paradise. Allah will grant you Jannah. Beautiful thing. Let's go to 
another hadith. It says here, a man once told the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that he had many children but did not kiss any one of them. He did not kiss any of them. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied, verily, God only show mercy to those of his servants who do good to others. In a different narration, you know, Ar-Rahimun, Yarhamun Rahman. Those who show mercy to others, Allah will shower his mercy upon them. Another great hadith. This is the reality of Islam. This is the beauty of Islam that we must share with the whole world. Let's go to another part, another hadith. Beautiful hadith. As he carried his, you know, the Prophet ﷺ carried his grandson on his shoulders. The Prophet was heard to say, Oh God, I love him. So you love him too. How the Prophet ﷺ was carrying Al Hassan or Al Hussein. I say, I love them. Oh Allah, love them too. You see the mercy? This great prophet, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ He was sent as mercy to all mankind. Look at how the Prophet ﷺ deals with the kids, with the children. How he deals with the companions. How he deals even with non-Muslims. And we have, inshallah, more Hadiths, more sayings, covering or discovering more through which about the seerah, the hayah, the life, and the guidance of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. But inshallah, I will discuss this in the upcoming session, God willing. Inshallah. Thank you to all. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Christianity doesn't have a single credible source to justify her claims of the crucifixion. She yet continues to propagate her myth. They do this by hiding many of their deceptions behind cleverly designed doctrines. Did you know that Christianity stands or falls at the cross? So how did they do this? Join me for the series called The Cross Question. Probe the past that proves Christianity in practice is fictitious in The Cross Questioned. Every Monday at 6 p.m. and repeat telecast at 5.30 a.m. UK on Peace TV.